once again a very good morning uh, we are going to start a new chapter today if i were you so this is actually a play so you should remember this is a play now what do you mean by play you know that english has various genres in which we have plays we have now uh, sorry uh, poems are there prose chapters are there right but it is a play what is a play in which characters are there dialogues are being spoken which uh, can be enacted on the stage yeah so that makes it a play the basic you can say the identification of a play is role play you remember you have done one activity also so uh, you there will be different roles different characters they will be speaking their dialogue so it is a kind of conversation it's not like you once there was a boy he used to that is a kind of prose chapter when in this we will be having conversation and on the basis of conversation of major two characters we will unveil the theme of the play and the message of the play and what is going to happen it is very interesting to play which is going to add some more knowledge into our lives right so a uh, brief description is first of all a uh, particular characters or main characters there are only two characters the whole of our play right it's like you will be watching a movie only it is quite intricate and only the one who will be keep on listening to me carefully right listening with understanding i must say they will be able to understand jahan pe aapne skip kiya dhyan idhar udhar kiya you want me to understand what i'm talking about or even if you remain absent suppose in a day or two or you do not listen or attend the class even then that is your loss so please be very very vigilant because this is something complicated yeah but if you understand that you can so let me introduce the characters here basically we have two characters first and foremost character the protagonist of this uh, chapter or play is giraffe R R A R D. So three times R I have used because many students they write wrong spelling. That's why I'm just giving you the reminder. So the current lead is also present. He has joined now. So Jalal is protagonist means main character of the story. Let me tell tell you about this character only. So what he is playing in the story. He is playing the role of a playwright. He is a playwright. Playwright also we can say, but this is the term which we use. W R I G H. Giraffe is a playwright. Here it means he is a writer. In very simple language, he is a writer. He writes the stories only. So this is his character in the play. Here do not get confused. This chapter is in the form of a play only, and Gerard is playing the role of a playwright. It may be original writer, but he is a writer only. Okay, so he is a playwright in this story. He is the protagonist, main character. Then we have another character. Yes, I told you to speak the news. What what are you going to do? The knowledge marks, of course. But marks be bad nahi aate. So the point is lose the respect I am having for you all. What I am saying, do not talk and do not involve others in your life. What do you mean by the word intruder? Anybody knows? Balak se koi baat nahi hai. Try just touch. Yes, very good. Someone from another side. Intruder, right? So, second character is intruder. 
and it can be a thief also. Uh, Rachi is right in saying it can be a thief. Yes, thieves, do they ask for the permission? Mm. Then a thief can, but we do not use the term intruder for a thief. Why we are using the word intruder here? Because actually this character is having bad intentions. He has come there, but not to rob him. He will be coming to Girard's place. The storyline is because only two characters are there throughout. At last, only one cop comes. Yeah, policeman, go to the last man. The way police comes always at the last. In that. So, intruder uh, will be coming to Girard's place with some wrong intention. And what is his intention? He wants to rob his identity. He does not want to rob money or any other valuables. He wanted to rob his identity because he has done a lot of crimes in his history that he wants now that he should have some safe identity, someone else's name and ID cards and so that uh, nobody will be able to catch me and he wanted to live his own life. That is his intention. That's why Rather than calling him thief, the word intruder I'm using here. Is it clear to all? Right? Now, what is the theme of this chapter? Why we are going to read this chapter? What it will be teaching us? Why it is important to us? If you know that, you will be having more interest in this. Uh, need of, need of, write down the theme. Need of retaining, need of retaining one's presence of mind. Now, I will speak about it now, firstly. Need of retaining one's presence of mind. So, what is our general? Most of, not at times all, but most of us are like this only. What we do? Whenever we are confronted with a difficult situation in life, fine, we start panicking. We start showing signs of panic because we are not ready. Life is very uncertain. Uh, how many of you drive? Activa cycle or whatever. Ride on a cycle or they drive. Right? So I'm just okay. You can lower your hand. When you are on road, you never know which vehicle. You know, there are a number of people they drive in a very rash way. Right? At any time, we are at risk on road. We are at risk. Though we are good drivers, but even then we are at risk because the opposite person is not. Because anybody can come and hit. So, why I'm saying you are doing your work good, but you never know anybody can come and you know you can have collision. At that time, rather than what you will do, you will start, you will get up from that your scooter and you will start preaching them or you will save yourself. Yeah. You will obviously you will try to see what is the space of the label I should hold my vehicle and I should save my life. So at that time, if your presence of mind is not there, you won't be able to save yourself from getting wounded, right? So it means our mind should be very quick enough, it should be quick enough in getting responses, right? In daily life also. So we should have, it, you know, this is having the power of estimation is one of the blessings in life. You know that uh, somebody is playing the ball and you can perceive within fraction of seconds it is going to hit your face. What will be your uh, reflux? You will just move on the left side or right side to you save yourself. If you are a smart person, you will be able to. But if you are still thinking it might hit me, it might not hit me, put the kappa, lucky and you are there. I mean to say your presence of mind is required all the time. This is the general presence of mind. Now, in case of this, a thief comes to your house. Now, coming to the story, 
A thief comes to your house at midnight. Everybody is sleeping. Nobody knows. You are just hearing some noises in one of the rooms of your house. And you just go and switch on the light and you just start seeing that, okay, a an intruder and a thief is standing in front of you holding a gun or any pointed object. So every person will give different reactions in such a case. Right? One will uh, start panicking, somebody will start shouting, somebody will, uh, you know, uh, surrender to him only, okay, you can lose our house and go save and we, you want to save your life, whatever is, so it means whatever is required at that moment and somebody will be smart enough to go and lock that person again in the same room. So fraction of second may you need to take the decision. This chapter is going to teach us need of retaining one's presence of mind. Hear that how smart you should be. One should be very smart to survive in this community world and very treacherous also. Teachings to officer as you know, her step to whether you are a, a student or whether you are doing jobs somewhere or whether you are to exist at a place with over smart people and you will be meeting many wrong people in your life, thieves and all. I'm not wishing it. May you have good life, but you should be prepared. Right? So you should have good presence of mind all the time. So this chapter, now let me tell you what happens. Girard is a playwright. He's about to leave his house, he's getting ready, he's wearing that, uh, what we call, so he's wearing the launch suit. Launch suit is matching the jacket and pants, formal, which I which we wear on the official work for official work and all. So he's ready, he's about to leave. And at that moment, when he turns and he saw a man, an intruder in his room, and what will be his reaction that he will meet? I'm not going to tell you. How he saved himself or whether he want, will be able to save himself or not, that, that is to be seen. Both are very clever. Yeah. But second thing, please note down, need of retaining one presence of mind. Isi ka hi say what distorted version here, you can say. Do not panic. Do not panic. And actually, this is the first thing only. Need of retaining one the presence of mind is one thing. Do not panic in difficult situation. This is second thing. My two types of people I always say exist in this world. First is when problem comes, they, they concentrate on problem only problem. Problem, problem, difficulty, difficulty. Second kind of category, the oh, problem is not okay. What is the solution? What are the alternatives to available to me? Why right? difficulties do not come to destroy you, they come to check how difficult you are, how you can handle smartly to it. Difficulties will come to you till our last breath, you're going to have difficult situations. Sometimes days are very good, sometimes days are very difficult. Right? Any unforeseen circumstance can come to anyone's life. So do not panic in difficult situations is one of the themes and you need to retain the cool of your mind. Presence of your mind to hairy hair, you have to maintain patience, you have to make your mind cool at that time rather than creating. Because so, jitne bhi accidents hote hai, ya jitna bhi galat chizhe, panic ki hoje se zada or add up Right? So let's start. All are listening, all three, Kathy, Harneet, and Parani. Give me your consent, Jaldi say. Harneet is there. Harneet is there. and Karanvi, are you listening? Page number 138. Introduction to why I take so much time? Because it creates your interest and it gives you the base for the chapter. If you start this, you won't be able to have interest in that. Now people are bored right now. So, Girard lives alone in a lonely cottage. Right? Girard lives all alone in a lonely cottage. This is his house only. 
an intruder who is criminal underline this recognition of this intruder is is a criminal it means he has some crime record in the past clear yeah? he intends to murder gerard and take on his identity so this is his uh, intention that he would murder gerard and he will take on his identity cards and he will take his identity he will name himself as gerard and he will live like that does he succeed that is to be read so then you can see there is a table match them with a meaningful meaning given that you will do at home find that that is your homework you can do later on tomorrow i will ask you now see whenever it is a play beta play ke pehle scene dete hain ki what is the scenario what is the scene uh, furniture and entry of the protagonist curtain table whatever it is uh, so that you can imagine or it can be performed on the stage also so small cottage interior so first scene jo hamara hai that is the interior means inner side right of the small cottage there is an entrance back right another door to the left must be a practical door so right back pe bhi entrance hai practical door means which is being used by the uh, uh, protagonist another door is there the furniture is very simple consisting of a small table towards the left a chair or two and a divan rather up stage on the right on the table there is a telephone so there is a scene beta please keep this things in mind because author will be uh, narrator will be using and telling you where he is standing now when the curtain rises gerard is standing so play starts Gerard is standing by the table making a phone call. So this is the beginning. Gerard is there. He is making a phone call. He is of medium height. Underline this is the correct sketch of Gerard. Sketcher is a uh, physical uh, structure. He is of medium height and wearing horn rimmed glasses. The shape of the glasses is like that. He is dressed in a lawn suit. I already told you the meaning of lawn suit. This. a matching jacket and trousers okay long suit is that which you wear on official purposes matching jacket and trousers and a green coat uske upar half jacket hota hai na in that way jacket and trousers is wearing and a green coat a oh, sorry a great coat not green his voice is culture now when you meet people the way they talk you can extract information about them some people talk very raw right they do not have manners and some people are very cultured when they talk you feel like ki wow what are manners right uh, you can perceive that he has been raised in a good family uh, by good parents in a good way but some people if they when they talk to you don't feel like talking to them very raw so he was very cultured uh while listening to his voice one can say that gerard was a very good personality now yes no comment beta please first dialogue belongs to gerard sidho ke badiye uh let me uh, give you i wanted two of the boys to play gerard and intruder both of you are there jatin and dharya so uh see अब ये बताओ कि मोर क्लेवर Legendary. Why this is a surprise, Mister? I am glad you are pleased to see. Yes, yes. Wait, wait. Let me read the information in the bracket. He puts down the phone and goes to the divan on the left, where there is a traveling bag and starts packing. While he is thus engaged, another man similar in build to Gerard. Now see, underline this thing. Hanji girls. After talking on the phone, he kept the phone aside. And very important thing is he has same height as Jirab. It means he has purposefully found a person who should match his. You can see looks also. 
so uh, he is having same build and same height like girard and he he comes over there revolver in his hand and he enters from the right he is flashily dressed in an overcoat underline this is the character sketch of intruder usne hat dala hua he bumps accidentally against the table when he enters by mistake he hits the table and immediately girard turns and then he got to know okay somebody is in my room now please be yes by this use of right बिगनिंग so the moment he saw the intruder with gun he says very pleasantly happily why this is a surprise mr means he wanted to know the name of that person immediately then this is all very melodramatic not very original perhaps but so he says he first time he sees thief in his house robber or intruder with gun and he says very seems very melodramatic means You know, melodramatic and over the board that somebody is coming with gun in your hand. You are not expecting. This is this is very melodramatic. There is somebody with revolver in my house. Then trying to be calm and non-challenging is your word. Non-challenging is your word. I think. Yeah, but then I see page page. Abhi, I will explain all these three lines. Yes. Thank, thanks a lot. You will soon stop being smart. I will make you tall. I want to know a few things. See now. See, intruder says. Okay, you are trying to be calm in front of me. Actually, you are scared, but my son, you are just trying that very calm you are. And Girard says, "No, nonchalant is your word. You should say that I am nonchalant." Underline the word nonchalant. It means appearing to be calm and relaxed. Appearing to be relaxed. Appearing to be relaxed means show Karna that I am relaxed. So uh, Girard says that this is the right word you should use rather than this word. <coughs> yes.